have discussed static branch prediction scheme in which we predict that a branch instruction will be taken or not taken statically. Here the prediction is static, it doesn't change with time. Every time a given instruction is executed, the prediction for that instruction remains the same. And in dynamic branch prediction scheme, the branch prediction is dynamic. It changes dynamically with time. And that change is usually based on the past history or the recent behavior of that branch instruction. There are two basic ways of dynamic branch prediction scheme, one bit dynamic branch prediction scheme and two bit dynamic branch prediction scheme. In one bit dynamic branch prediction scheme, every branch instruction is associated with a one bit information which represents the prediction that whether the branch will be taken or not. And that one bit prediction information dynamically changes with time. Similarly, in 2-bit dynamic branch prediction scheme, the branch instruction is associated with a 2-bit information which predicts whether that branch will be taken or not and that 2-bit information changes dynamically with time and these changes are usually based on the past history or the recent behavior of that branch instruction. We shall discuss the 1-bit dynamic branch prediction scheme first. Suppose I5 is a branch instruction whose address is 100. According to this 1-bit prediction scheme, this branch instruction will be associated with a 1-bit information. This 1-bit information predicts whether this branch I5 will be taken or not. And with 1-bit, we can represent two states, either 0 or 1. So if bit equals 0, it means the prediction is that the branch will not be taken. If the bit equals 0, then the prediction, if the bit equals 1, then the prediction is that the branch will be taken. Now suppose instruction I5 have entered the pipeline. Along with fetching this instruction, parallelly we will check its prediction bit. Assume that now the prediction bit for I5 equals 0. It means the prediction is that the branch will not be taken. So we proceed in that predicted direction. When execute the instructions in the normal sequential order we fetch the instruction from the next address itself now after two or three cycles by the time instruction i5 is executed or completed suppose it was realized that our prediction was correct actually the branch should not be taken then the prediction bit for this instruction remains the same it means we remain in the same state the branch should not be taken. But suppose after some time we realized that the brand, our prediction was wrong. Actually the branch is to be taken. Then we should flush out the pipeline, refill the pipeline with the target instruction. There will be branch penalty. And also we should change the prediction bit for this branch instruction to 1. It means we move from state 0 to state 1. That is, if the prediction was that the branch need not be taken and actually the branch should be taken, so we move from this not taken state to the taken state. So the next time, suppose after some time, instruction I5 got executed again. Now while checking its prediction bit, now the prediction bit predict that the branch should be taken. So this time we start fetching instructions from the target address onwards and proceed in the predicted direction. And after some time, suppose it was realized that our prediction was correct, actually the branch should be taken, so we remain in the same state itself. 
the prediction bit for i5 also remains 1. But after some time it was realized that the prediction was actually wrong. The branch should not be taken. Then we should flush out the pipeline, refill the pipeline with the sequential instruction. At the same time the prediction bit should be changed to 0. I mean we move from 1 equals taken state to 0 equals not taken state. It means we predict something and as long as our prediction is correct, we remain in that state. If the prediction is found to be wrong, we switch to the other state. So here we can see the prediction bit keep on changing dynamically with time and that change is based on the past behavior of the branch instruction. So here the assumption is that for the current execution if the branch is taken the next time also the branch will be taken and for the current execution if the branch is not taken then the next time also the branch will not be taken. And the prediction may not be correct always. If there are a lot of missed predictions, then our overall branch penalty will be more. Otherwise, we can keep the branch penalty less.